and getting Cisco and uh, how it's going to work. <coughs> so actually, uh, if you see in YouTube or in any uh, documents officially, you can see the configuration, where to configure, what is the parameter you need to check, what is the uh, value that you have to utilize that you will see the uh, procedure how to do that but uh, there is no uh, video what is the exact process that goes behind uh, the scenes uh, in, in case of this auto attendant so that's the reason uh, that, that has inspired me to uh, make a video how it uh, works in the background actually I have struggled more uh, to uh, get the workflow of that so that's the reason I am ma making this video for uh, beginners uh, who are new to this uh, Cisco collaboration or voice so let's begin the class. Uh, so Cisco Auto Attendant is a feature which allows uh, uh, users to hear a automatic prompt. So for example, when we dial customer care services, first we listen to some prompts that come to the organization name. And if you want to dial this extension plus one, if you want to go to finance this, this extension. So like like that, uh, we can hear the prompt, right? So that is that is basically called as Auto Attendant. So Cisco offers that feature to be implemented in an internal network of an organization so that is basically auto attendant that was done by using a uh, server called CUC Cisco Unity Connection which is integrated with uh, Cisco CUCM so CUCM and CUC so CUC is actually called as a voice mailbox server so once integrated with CUCM uh, we can have this automate uh, auto, auto, auto alternate functionality enabled and running in our company so let's see how it works actually. So, <coughs> uh, uh, so for example, now I have a mobile phone. So from my mobile phone, I want to dial uh, uh, a number, which should uh, give me the prompt for that. So when I dial this number, I will go to the PSTN lines, and wherever that line was terminated, I will, uh, uh, I mean, uh, I will connect to that line. So, for example, here is a Cisco Voice Gateway Router configured over there with this PRI line, and that number that I have dialed was entered into this PRI card. So, from here, I have a SIP trunk configured to the CUCM. So, here in CUCM, what actually happens is, so for example, I have dialed this number XXX2000. So, then uh, be, uh, in this voice gateway, because of some voice translation rules, um, uh, masking of the number, what we can do is we can uh, uh, remove this uh, all excess the uh, starting numbers and we can uh, forward this 2000 to the CUCM so that the extension 2000 registered in CUCM can ring 2000, 2001, like, like that. So, there are some extensions configured in CUCM. So, what we can do is we can tell the CUCM to ring the extension 2000 uh, so that the mobile user and this extension can. Uh, be on call but in in case of the cisco auto attendant there is no any phone right registered in cucm uh, to or to attend that call so what we need is a virtual phone number to answer that call virtual phone number so in our organization for example uh, we have taken a pri line and in the pri line we have a hundred numbers so our pilot number is going to be landed on this virtual phone number so for example let us take take it as we have our PSTN number all access uh, and 2000 to 2099 so these are PRA number range so let us consider this 2000 um, you know uh, <coughs> pilot number for this auto attendant so our goal is to ring this virtual phone number which is going to give us a prompt when a user dies to this number. So for that, as there is no physical phone number, we need to create a virtual phone number. So this virtual phone number is called as a CTI route point in CUCM terminology. So CTI means computer telephony integration. So uh, basically it's a virtual number that we are going to create in the CUCM. Uh, so for example, the number 2000, we have created so this is our CTI route point now and any user dialing all xxx and then 2000 then he will be uh, because of the some voice translation rules done on the um, voice gateway the call will be forwarded to the uh, CUCM and then see in CUCM this 2000 number is registered as a CTI route point so in CUCM what we need to do is 
so whatever the call comes to this 2000 extension then it should be forwarded to cuc that means uh, within the uh, computer telephony integration line number we will make it as call uh, call forward all so whatever the call comes to this particular number that is to this virtual number city road point then it should be tra transferred to this cuc cisco unity connection so in cuc we have beautiful options uh, very easy to configure those are called as system call handlers so this system call handlers are the actual uh, actual configuration that is giving the user prompt so for example uh, we have created an another fitting that is new a auto attendant for our organization and there we will again mention this as 2000 so the same extension number uh, for CTA route point we will configure for this new auto attendant also so whenever a uh, call comes to voice gateway it will be transferred to CUCM and from CUCM it will be transferred to CUC and in CUC if the call comes to this 2000 then we will instruct the CUC to play a prompt so that is how basically it will work so uh, just to give an over uh, uh, I mean, uh, I mean uh, if you see it basically so first the mobile uh, uh, caller dies the number so I mean uh, I'm just going through the flow again caller dies the number it will reach the end device Cisco voice router or any other P third party PBX whatever it might be so there should be some some uh, some sort of communication like SIP, uh, SIP trunking between uh, SIP trunking between this voice gateway and CUCM and then so in CUCM it should be integrated with CUC as a voice mail server so it is an important term that CUC should be integrated with as a voice mail server for voicemail so in CUCM if you go to uh, one of the extension and press the voicemail button then it should uh, uh, take us to the voicemail box of uh, users in the voicemail uh, from, the, from the Cisco Unity connection so then only it will work and then so whenever the uh, caller dies the number it will go to the PRI connection of that uh, line so which uh, usually terminated on a PRA uh, enabled device is voice gateway or any PBX so from there uh, through SIP trunking they, that will be transferred the call will be get transferred to CUCM with some voice translation rules applied so only the plain U extension number will be forwarded to CUCM so in our case it is 2000 so and then this 2000 will be forwarded to CUC I mean in our configuration we will mention it as call forward all to CUC so whatever the call comes in it should go to CUC and in CUC it will land over a call handler so what is a call handler it will it, it is the actual prompt that that gets played whenever it was uh, got a hit by any call so uh, in this call handler only we can mention if the user presses one then what should happen if the user presses two what should happen so after the prompt what should again happen so like that we can mention everything in CUC call handler only so this is how the call flow works um, uh, hopefully uh, this video might uh, give you some knowledge on uh, Cisco collaboration if yes uh, uh, subscribe me thank you thank you